Today's lesson is on the Chrome extension called Roots Search. And I'm first going to show you how you get this Chrome extension. It's super easy. And then I'll show you what it does. You're going to be excited. I think it was awesome. I just happened to come across this tonight. So to get the Chrome extension in Google Chrome, you just go ahead and go to Google and search for a root search Chrome extension. That's always the easiest way, I think. And so as you can see, this comes up as root search Chrome Web Store. You would just click here. And then I already added it, but it would just say add to Chrome. And you would just click on that. And what it will do, it will add this little, see up here in the right hand corner, it's a little magnifying glass. Um, as, as you can tell, here's the um, Pandora's Hope Chest that I talked about and how we had to add that at Chrome extension. So that's right here. And then this, this other one is Root Search, it's this little hourglass. So let me show you, you have to be on Family Search and on the Person page. And here I am on Fernie George. He was born 1815, died in 1860. And here's the other information on him with his wife. Maybe not right now, because maybe the internet can't see it. But anyway, there's his information, most of it. And so what, what is really cool about this root search is you click on this little magnifying glass and it will fill in information on your ancestor. It has what his spouse and his dad, which should be on that page if it was working. But what you can do is I can just say right here, I want to go to Ancestry.com. So I'll click on Ancestry.com. And what I really like about this is that if I see up here at the top, I'm at the very top. If I click on this tab, this is the tab that I was just on. And what's nice is that they made it so that it opens up in a new tab. So you don't have to worry about going on the back button. So I really like that feature a lot. But here it is, it, it came and it just came and searched Ancestry for me and I didn't have to put the information in, which I think is so cool, it's so exciting. So up here are the family trees and then these are the different matching records here on this right hand side. And over on the left, I can actually change the information over here on the left. Um, so I can actually pull, you know, and this was really broad for this Fernie because it was spelled Farney. You can see right here Farney in different ways. So, but if I want it to be more exact, I can, I can move these different things over <clears throat> and then I can just update it. I was just going to show you this really quick if you, if you don't know how to do that. And then I can also, on Ancestry, go in and just edit this. So if I want to take off his dad, if I want to take off his wife, I, I can make changes to it. But I think that's so cool that I can just be on Family Search and tell it to go search Ancestry for this person, because I, I do that so many times. So I just think that's awesome. I wanted to go back again to this, the Family Search page on him, because I wanted to show you the other options on that Root Search. So you can do Billy and Graves. You can do Family Search. Let me show you what that does. I didn't really like what happened here because I'm searching for Fernie George. And what happens is over here on the left hand side is Fernie George and his information. And that's what it was searching. But if you look at the top, this was the last search I had done. And so it's not going to give me Fernie's information. So so I don't really think you can search, you know, instead of doing it that way, you can go ahead and just search records right here on family search. So that wasn't my favorite thing, but, <clears throat> but I think it's really cool. So I'm going to go up here again and, and, and you can search um, all these different places, my heritage, my Cabo, find my past, any of these to see if information. And I like that you can search it so easily. Let me just show you if you click on my heritage. So it goes through too and searches its whole database for information. And so you might find something here that you don't find anywhere else. So 
let me know if you have questions. I think this is an awesome feature. And if you need to go back and see how to, to add it to your Chrome, remember you have to be in Google Chrome to use this. You can do that. And I hope you're having a great day.